Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my homemade apple fritter bread. So let's get started. So I preheated my oven to 350. I mixed a third of a cup of light brown sugar with a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'll place this off to the side. I have two thirds of white sugar that I'll place in my mixer along with two eggs at room temperature. I'll mix this all together until it's nice and smooth. Once the white sugar and eggs are combined real well and nice and smooth, I'll add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. So now I'll place my one third cup of brown sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon in my bowl and I'll mix it together. And then I'll place it off to the side. Now that the cinnamon and the light brown sugar are combined, I'll place my bowl off to the side. I'll place my two-thirds cup of white sugar in my bowl. Along with the white sugar, I have one stick of softened butter. So I'll blend my softened butter with my white sugar till it's smooth. And then I'll drop in one egg at a time. So it's two eggs that I'll be placing in my bowl. So now I'll cream my butter and my sugar till it's nice and smooth. Once the sugar and butter are nice and smooth, then I'll add in one egg at a time. Now I'll mix one egg at a time. The second egg. Now I'll add in my vanilla extract. So it's one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And a half. So now I'll mix this in. To my creamed butter, I have my flour and baking powder. It's one and a half cups of flour to one and three fourth teaspoon of baking powder. So what I'll do is I'll mix the baking powder in with the flour. I'll add this to my creamed butter. Once the flour is combined with the butter, then I'll add in a half a cup of milk. I'll add in a little at a time. I'll add in the rest. Now I'll add in my half a cup of milk. I have two green apples that I'll peel and dice. So I have one green apple that I diced. You can see the size of them. I have a little bit of lemon juice on top. So now I'll dice up my second apple. This really comes in handy too to help me with the apples.
I'm down to the last slice of apple. I have a 6 by 11 prepared baking pan and all I did was spray Pam in here. So now I'll pour half of my batter in the bottom of this pan. I'll spread the batter in the pan. Now to my batter I'm going to add half of the apples, the prepared apples that I chopped up. Just kind of mix it around, pat it into the batter. Now I'll take my cinnamon and brown sugar and pour half of that on top. Now I'll pour the remaining batter on top of the cinnamon and light brown sugar. So I flattened out this layer of batter. Now I'll add the rest of my apples. Just kind of move them around and pat them into the batter. I'll add the remaining light brown sugar and cinnamon on top of the apples. And this is what it will look like. So now I'll place this in my preheated 350 degree oven for about 50 to 60 minutes. You want to make sure that when you put a toothpick in the middle it comes out clean. Then I'll be making the glaze to go on top. The glaze is an old-fashioned cream glaze. It's half a cup of powdered sugar and one to three tablespoons of milk. Once I let this cool for 15 minutes that's when I'll put the glaze on top. So into the oven it goes. And the oven's at 350. It's been 50 minutes, so now I'm gonna check on my apple fritter bread. That looks good. So now I'll take it out of the oven. That looks good. I'll place the toothpick in, make sure it comes out clean. Came out clean. So the bread's done. I'll turn my oven off. So now I'll let this rest for about 15 minutes before I put the glaze on top and this makes an awesome dessert. So now for my glaze, I have a half a cup of powdered sugar. I'll place that in my bowl. To my powdered sugar, I'll add in about three, two to three tablespoons of milk. Just one, two, two tablespoons of milk was perfect to this half a cup of powdered sugar. I let my apple fritter bread rest for about 15 minutes. So now I'll place this on top. This smells really, really good. I can't wait to give it a try. 
So now that my bread has cooled, I'll slice into it. Look at how good that looks. So now I'll put a piece on the plate. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make this homemade apple fritter bread. Give it a try. It's really good. Bye-bye.